What's going on, engineer team? Today's video is on the top three mistakes that new engineers make. This is a talking only video, so if you like listening to me talk, you'll love this video. Let's begin. Number three, they focus only on one or two pieces of technology. Technology is so broad and so fast moving that you can't just focus on one thing. For instance, if you just know JavaScript, or you just know PHP, then that's the limit to what you're going to do. You're going to be a PHP developer or a JavaScript developer. If you're at a job and somebody asks you, hey, I know you're a PHP developer, but can you help with this JavaScript problem? And you say no, then that doesn't make you very valuable. So it's important to, as you go, as you progress in your career, to broaden out your technology. It's fine to start with one or so or two in the beginning, but once you've been doing it for four, five, six years, or even longer, you, you should be proficient with much more than one or two. You'll find that you'll be a lot more valuable and you'll have a lot more fun. Number two, they think they'll be an expert overnight. Friends, software engineering is more a marathon than it is a sprint. It's just, it's not something that you take a couple college courses and now you're an expert. It's not something that you get off work Friday at 4 p.m. and you sit down for some programming and by Sunday afternoon you're an expert. It, it just doesn't work like that. I, I know in this day and age, it's, you know, people want that quick satisfaction. They want to be gratified in certain ways and this is just not one of those things. If you really want to be a top-notch software engineer in the long run, you have to dedicate yourself to the trade, you have to focus on it, and you have to work hard as much as you possibly can. And you're going to get frustrated, you're going to get upset, you're going to want to quit and not do it anymore, but as long as you just keep pushing through and powering through the, those urges, you will eventually be an expert in it. And then from there, you can focus on learning whatever you want, and you can go anywhere, and you can do anything. And finally, number one, they do it for the money and not because they're passionate. Look, it's no secret that you can make a ton of money in software engineering. Engineers with five to six years experience can easily command a salary of a north of 100k, Top people in their field can easily command a salary north of 250k. But the people that get to that point are not the people that just took a couple college classes in software engineering, maybe graduated with a CS degree, and then just worked nine to five at, at some firm. It's, those are not the people who are chiefs of engineering at Netflix or senior software engineers at Google. The people that get those positions and command those huge salaries are the ones that started out doing this for the passion. Because the truth of the matter is, passion begets money. If you're passionate about something and you're not doing it for the money, you are going to do better than the person who's just out there just to get the top salary. You're going to blow right by them. You're going to be recognized for your leadership. You're going to be recognized for your ability to both have a hobby and a job that's the exact same thing. And you're going to be recognized for your ability to always go the extra effort because you don't view it as a job. People that do things for the money, that, that's why they're doing it. They're going and they're working the 9 to 5 and they're drawing a salary and, and that's the end of it. So it's, it's so important that you start off on the right foot and you do it for the right reasons. And if you do, you will go on to do whatever you want. And that's it. We're done. Comment down below if you have any questions or requests. I read every comment and I respond to almost every comment. Subscribe if you want notifications for new videos. And if you think this video deserves it, go ahead and hit the like button. See you next video.